Hey everyone, happy 2016. I'm going to start off the new year with a new review of the Shed Pal. This is an as seen on TV product. It is a pet groomer. So this will be interesting to see if my dog will actually let me use this. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to support my content, as always, go to patreon.com slash nine malls and a lot of stuff that I review on this channel you can get uh, with donations starting at $2 a month. Uh, cancel any time. It's actually a really good deal. So, uh, on to the review. Alright, so the Shed Pal. The Shed Pal groomer comes with two interchangeable screw on heads. Your Shed Pal comes with the basic small round head already attached, the smaller uh, round head for clothing, upholstery, and light grooming. So, very important. Install the three AA batteries, power on, and you just empty. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna. This is what it looks like. It just came in this bag. It was shipped with almost nothing, uh, no box, nothing like that. Just there it is. It's completely plastic, lightweight. Uh, looks and feels cheap, but that's pretty typical for most as seen on TV products. So you just take off the cover. I like that. It's really easy to put batteries in, but you just put the batteries in like so. One, two and three. Alright, so you put the cover on like that. Turn it on. And you're ready to go. This just kind of spins around and it's supposed to take the hair off your dog. And it goes from here into here. So this isn't like a vacuum cleaner. All it's doing is spinning this little wheel and that's what collects the hair. So you got different, I guess, sizes. So I'm gonna turn it off. But you take this off, different kind of attachments you can put on here. Depending on, um, you know, whether you have clothing, or whether you're using it on a dog. And uh, what is this? Oh, this unscrews. And yeah, just different attachments you can use depending on, you know, I think with longer hair or something like that would work. But I'm just going to use the attachment that was already on there. It's a basic sp small round head. Actually, here we go. So they have the easy groom head. So actually, there's a little uh, diagram. I want to use it for grooming. So. You attach this one, according to the directions, plus uh, this attachment right here. So I'm going to do that. Like so. So that's, you can see the easy groom head. Um, I want to use that. So that's exactly what I want to use it for. I'm going to start grooming my dog, and there it is. See, it's just kind of like a fan. I don't know if you see that. I'll stop it, let it go. Little fan, just that just turns. Um, very, very basic. But uh, let's get my dog. I think she's going to freak out, but you never know. All right, so here we go. The dog is right here, and the groomer. So she's not freaking out kind of brewing. So that's like, that's a great thing. She's not freaking out. I thought for sure she'd freak out, but she's not. And you can hear the motor kind of slowing down when you drag it over her. Uh, yeah. So, all right, all right, buddy. I think that's enough. I'm going to turn it off and just quickly see what's inside the shred, or, uh, yeah, shed pal. Okay, so pull this off. Let's see if we got anything. Or actually, just as uh, the bottom thing comes off. 
And yeah, maybe my dog doesn't shed. I mean, she really doesn't all that much, very little. But I see absolutely zero pet hair in here. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but um, definitely for my dog, did not work. I don't think the motor is powerful enough to really do much. Um, it's a very, very basic product. All right, so in the infomercial, stay. Uh, they, they, uh, this is turned around. So, actually, Chelsea's leaving. Chelsea, stay. Uh, yeah, so I just flipped it around the, the little plastic thing or the rubber thing, and let's see if that works. So we got. So these are brand new batteries, but the motor is not powerful at all. But yeah, an infomercial, you just kind of drag it over the dog. Supposedly it's vacuum powered. It's very, there's hardly any vacuum. But yeah, she's not freaking out, which is good. All right, so let's, let's turn it off. Okay, you can go. And I'm going to open it up again and see if that made a difference. And once again, as you can see, there's absolutely zero hair in the Shed Pal. So, all right, so do I recommend the Shed Pal? The answer is no. Uh, this thing is far too cheap. Does not, I mean, my dog sheds, so this should take off some pet hair. It didn't take off anything. The suction's not powerful enough if there's any suction at all. It does spin, so that does, you know, get some pet hair. But just from what, I, what I've seen, I would not recommend this product. And, I mean, if you can get it for like five bucks, I think that might be worth it, five bucks or less. But I wouldn't spend any more than that. So, uh, once again, please subscribe to my channel. If you like my content, please support it at patreon.com slash 9malls or just search Patreon for 9malls. And once again, thanks for watching and more reviews coming soon. And looking forward to what 2016 has in store. Alright, thanks for watching.